in there. Um, I'm going to look at my task pane here. So in my task pane, you know, I, I have four tabs. I have Display Manager, I have Map Explorer, Map Book, and my survey. So I can actually connect to survey data as well um, throughout this tool. But uh, for today's topic, we wanted to look at connecting to shape files and stylizing those. So, um, so on my Display Manager tab, I can click the, the Data button here, Manage Data. And I have several options here. So if I was adding drawings, data into here, you know, images, uh, point cloud data, I could come into here. But I want to connect to data. Connect to data similar to an XREF, um, to where I can connect to that data. If that data updates, my drawing updates that it's connected to. So once I've chosen that uh, data connection tool, um, you can see that there's multiple options here. And this isn't even all the options. There's some that you can download. You can have an option to automatically be connected to Google Earth um, to always get those images or, or surface if you choose. Um, so you have multiple you know, SQL server connections, SQL connections, um, Oracle. Uh, probably the three most popular one for simple you know, civil stuff is raster image, um, SDF connection, and shapefile connection. So the first thing we want to look at is shapefile. So I'm going to just pick the shape connection. I can give it a name. I'm just going to leave it as shape one. And I can pick a source file or a folder. Now two differences here. If I pick the first button here on the left, it's going to connect to a source file, one individual file. And let me go to my desktop. Okay, so for, from here I can choose, you know, an individual file. Um, Let's go to tax lots, so our, our parcels. So I've chosen that individual file. I can now come in here, hit connect. And here in my data, my default uh, window here, I have one option. I have just my tax lots. Um, so if I'm connecting to something that I know I'm going to import several different things, I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to actually disconnect this and delete it and get out of here. So I'm going to connect to a folder this time. So I'm going to connect to one folder on my desktop. Map webinar. Map data. Hit OK. Hit connect. And so within that folder, it's reading all these different things that I want to connect to. Um, do I want my flood zones in there? Do I want my local name? You know, your different types of parcels. I'm going to get rid of that guy. Um, and we can do land use. So we're going to do flood zones, land use, zoning, uh, parcels. So I don't have to pick all the objects in that folder. I can connect to the folder and choose those objects. So I've connected there. I'm going to hit Add to Map. Uh, if I pull this down, I can add to map, uh, just plain, just throw everything in there, or I can set a query to it. But I'm going to add everything in there, Add to Map. You can see down here it's adding the layers. And so now I've connected to three different shape files. I'm going to get out of here. So you can see here um, a bunch of shape file information. You know all this stuff that's uh, it's in there. It's data. It's not just polylines. You know on the import one we just had polylines with a little bit of information in the properties. Um, the big difference in here by connecting to this data is I can come in here, and this is kind of a layer hierarchy. You know what do I want to see on top? Um, maybe I want to move my flood zone, so I see my flood zone on top. If you watch here. You know, so it's moved that flood zone, it's moved that layers. Um, I can come in here to my flood zone or to my parcels. Uh, let's just double click on parcels. So if I double click on that, I have a couple different options here. I can do a new theme, I can add rules, I can duplicate it, or I can simply come in here to my style, double click that ellipsis uh, button. You know, and what color do I want my parcels? Let's just uh, pick a pretty color here. Uh, I want them a little transparent. I can choose fill patterns, um, line patterns, a lot of different thicknesses and and uh, things here. So I'm going to hit OK there. 
you can see in the background, I'm, I'm creating this map. Um, how do I want this to show up? I'm going to change my zones here, or my, my land uses. I'm going to double click on that. Okay. And what we didn't look at just a minute ago is the themes. So I'm going to create a new theme for this. So if I have a soils map in here or a zone map that has every zone, um, I can come in here and tell it uh, what type of information do I want to do this on. Do I want to um, create a theme based on soils mapping or based on zoning? Um, so all this information is going to be in your shape file. So I'm just going to choose, I'm going to choose area here. So it's going to say my minimum area is that, my maximum area is that. I want to distribute that equally, and how many rules? You know, so I can equally divide that into six. You can see here, creating different things. So my style range, I'm going to pick this as far as styling. And I want to go from, and we're just doing a little bit of stylization here. I want to do some purples. So I'm going to go from that color, and you can see it how it's going. And I want to be a little green to there. No. So I can choose my options. I can set up these things. I can hit OK. And hit OK one more time. Okay. So you can see what it's done in, in the background. It's taken all these um, shape files and, it, and it's broken them out based on um, that information that I specified whether it's zoning or soil mapping or sewer lines. If I had my sewer lines in here, I could colorize everything um, based on pipe size or pipe type. 